Alright, we are back here with another guide on Dragon Ball Legends. In today's video, we are going to be going over every single method in the game to obtain Chrono Crystals, including all the new events that have just arrived alongside the brand new Ultra Kid Boo banner, which is probably why you're clicking on today's video. Uh, to just get any method, any means you can to be able to summon on this banner while it's here. We are a month out from the anniversary, so this does apply whether you want to save for that or even just go deep on this banner. Now, look at taking a look at my Chrono Crystal account, uh, the uncertainty when going into these Ultra banners are at a high point. Um, rates are very low, so you definitely want to be able to stack as much as you can to test your luck. This is the video for you. Make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new because I do upload here every single day with Legends content and I'm not going to waste any of your time here. I'm just going to jump right into the news. So you see the new banner did drop. We do have an episode Magajin from the Boo Saga campaign. You're doing all these missions. Um, you're going to be able to obtain Chrono Crystals from these missions here. So just go into obviously this event tab here, missions tab, and you're going to be able to collect those. Um, we're going to just retake a look at that in a second here i do want to jump into the actual events uh so we do have this raging battle event i believe you're going to be able to obtain over a thousand chronos by completing this you have a pretty nice gap of time to do it so when you're watching this it should still be up that's a whole multi right there get it done you have a multi in your uh in your account right there we do have the fierce fight super boo don't really know um this unit has not dropped yet. I believe it's in a couple of days. It should provide some Chrono Crystals with the missions and whatnot. So just be looking forward to this event. Um, it's a new unit, free-to-play unit. So definitely, uh, why not? It's free. Like just, uh, we do have the new Battle Royale. That's what I was looking for right here. We do have a so the, the one that just passed by. Make sure you guys are doing these Battle Royals because um, you, know, you do get a nice amount of Crystals from them. I don't see the one where it says... The new Battle Royale is dropping. I know there is one dropping in a couple of days here. So it is currently April 30th. The new Battle Royale drops on the 5th. Oh, oh, this is it. I am tweaking, bro. So May 5th right here, we do have the Battle Royale uh, for Majin Buu Saga, I believe. Yeah, Majin Buu Saga. So any Majin Buu Saga unit is going to be viable here. Here are all the rules. And within this, you're able to obtain about 300 Chrono Crystals, if I'm not mistaken. So just win these battles, you're going to be able to either pick that or amongst all these other Z-Power rewards, erasers, um, etc. right here with these coins. So make sure you guys are doing this. Uh, check out on the live stream. I, I usually do all of them live. So if you want to see me do it, uh, that's where it's going to be. But um, definitely do this. You get a couple hundred Chrono Crystals from that. Uh, I believe those are the only two events besides the new free-to-play boo that's dropping uh, that are these are included. I don't think we could get any crystals from these, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the crystals. It's very limited at this very moment. So you do if you're saving for any, save for any. If you're going to summon, you know, obviously just go all in. But um, I would definitely recommend, you know, Kid Boo is not going to benefit your main team. Just save for anniversary right here we do have the battle gauntlet i have not completed this yet i know most people have already you're getting a couple hundred i believe seven to eight hundred chrono crystals just by completing this battle gauntlet very easy stuff you know stage by stage you probably already done this complete this you're getting about seven eight hundred um it says a thousand right there right i believe it says a thousand chrono crystals I, you get more from the missions as well stage clears i don't even know man don't want to wait for that but 700 chrono crystals excuse me so we get 700 chronos from that these are all the other events that you guys can jump into and that are going to provide chrono crystals for you um this one's up right now i know a lot of players weren't around when this came out so if you want to do the rising battle go for it every single you know one of these these battles are going to give you a good amount solid amount of crystals right here so it should take a bit of time but you know you go through it you're going to get a lot of free crystals you got this free kid boo right here i believe each stage does provide some crystals yep complete all of these they're already done they're not anything new here but returned events you definitely wanted to jump in if you want to do the maja vegeta one um like i said rising battle along with any other of the events that actually stay in game they're going to give you crystals so for a new player specifically if you want to jump into here do any of these challenges you're going to get chrono crystals for every single thing that you do in here um 
upgrades. Uh, that's pretty much it for the new events, though. Um, I'm going to jump into some of the main things that you want to do in this game. Obviously, PvP is going to be a huge source of you guys getting Chrono Crystals seasonally. Wherever you rank, whether it's top 10,000, top 5,000, 3,000, 1,000, you're going to get a certain amount of crystals for your overall ranking. And me normally ranking top 100 every single season. Um, this season, we're actually getting a bit more of Chrono Crystal. So I highly recommend you guys jump in if you want to hit at least top 1,000. You're going to get a total of 1,500 for your overall ranking along with whatever you rank group-wise. So you can get over... To me, personally, I could get over 2,000 Chrono Crystals guaranteed uh, just by playing the game uh, and reaching top one in my group as well. So 2,000 Crystals on this, potentially for me, um, for you guys, depending where you guys rank. Even if you want to grind just a bit, I know not everyone plays PvP, but the majority probably do. So make sure you're playing this season because you're getting a little bit more from your PvP rewards. Uh, same thing with TOP. Don't know if they're amping up the rewards, but it's just a bi-seasonal thing. And you jump into this. And you should be getting uh, season details. See that? Ranking. Nope, they didn't increase it or anything. So depending on your ranking, overall ranking, I actually got... Uh, I actually got less than I normally do. Sometimes, most of the times, I just get the full thousand. But yeah, if you're doing this correctly, look up a guide for it. If you need any help, I'm doing these on live streams. But a total of a thousand for this. Your seasonal reward, you're getting another hundred. And if you make it to the top of this tournament of power stage, you're getting 300 just for completing it. So that's around 1,400, 1,500 crystals, uh, depending, because you do get some accessible from the missions. It all goes back down to the missions as well. Whether you're doing story mode, you're doing events, for every single thing here, you're going to have extra crystals to obtain. So this is, you know, whatever random stuff I did, you're going to have extra stuff. For TOP, you're going to have extra stuff. Uh, from PvP, jumping into PvP before we move on to the next thing. We were just talking about the PvP rewards. It's a uh, current golden showdown. So um, they have an exchange shop for it. And you can actually get a thousand crystals, I believe, from in here. I haven't obtained all of them, but from these exchange shop stuff, you just exchange these uh, plates. You're going to get hundreds from here. And then the golden coins also give you a couple of hundreds. So don't know if it's a thousand exactly, but it is definitely a couple hundred. I believe it is a total of a thousand. So you're also getting Legends Limited Z Power. Highly recommend you guys play PvP this season because uh, you want to be able to stack up or even summon on this banner. If you haven't, uh, the raid's gone. You know, prepare for the next raid. Uh, exchange shops. You guys know what exchange shops are. Uh, maybe just check through all these exchange shops. Uh, see what you're able to collect with whatever resources you have. If you're doing your co-op co mode daily, you're going to be able to save up on these resources right here to be able to pick up. You got 300 total of Chrono Crystals in this exchange shop. Um, a couple other exchange shops that might have actual Chrono Crystals. So I would definitely check through these. Not a ton of them do have Chrono Crystals though. Maybe the Battle Royale. Um... Stuff like that. But yeah, check your guys' exchange shops. Do your adventures. You never know. I never really get crystals from this. But randomly, they could just drop right here. It's another method to easily obtain chrono crystals. I'm just going to reset this. It's also great for guild points. So um, resources are pretty important. Uh, so we got story mode. Uh, the One of the most basic means in the game to get crystals if you guys have not done your story modes yet as you can see i don't have any of the story mode stages completed if i ever need rainy day crystals i just jump in here complete some challenges and missions i actually still have these yet to complete you jump in very similar to the any of the events in the game you complete it you do follow these challenges you're going to not only get all these crystals but you'll also be able to collect um the extra mission completed over here um in the missions section do your dailies dailies thank you very much this is going to show you a stamp stamp rally if you complete your dailies for 14 days in a row you're going to get a thousand chrono crystals from this do your dailies uh I, I, this guide is not for everybody i know there's a lot of things you probably already know in this guide but i am going over every single method here do your dailies and you're going to be able to complete your stamp rally but yeah the events that i was just stating anything that you complete i get more plates here more things to collect but every time you do a, uh, a story mission or event mission or stuff like that, you're usually going to get Chrono Crystals from the Z mission stuff. Um, whether it's rolling equipment. If you guys are rolling certain equipments a certain amount of times, as you can see here, upgrade 28,000 pieces of equipment. X amount of times, you're going to get another 10 
reward. You're going to get another 10 Chrono Crystal reward. And that goes for S equipments. That goes for Z equipments. And I believe Z Plus's equipments do the exact same thing. So if you guys want quick crystals, you haven't grinded a lot of equipment, you need to grind out these missions. Roll your items. Do the same thing. Same thing with friendship level. You go to um, the events right here. And then you go to Let's Fight. You do all three of these. Run friendship equipments. Put your friendship equipment on any of these units. These are what friendship equipments look like. You get extra points gain, and for every friendship level you guys are going up, you're getting Chrono Crystals from that. And if you want the infinite Chrono Crystal method, if you're at this point in the video, type up infinite Chrono Crystal guide by me, and I made it with Dugo. Um, I show you guys the actual stage that will get you the most friendship points to infinitely farm Chrono Crystals on this um, on the with this method. But daily, you guys can get the max amount of friendship points right here, and technically just infinitely farm Chrono Crystals that way. It's probably one of the more um unlimited methods but yet tedious methods so uh if you're really really just not doing anything and you want to auto grind it just keep keep clicking the screen just search up that video you guys it will definitely help you out uh like i said top mode same thing with pvp just check your missions you're going to be able to get all these extra crystals right here don't want to miss out on any of the missions sometimes i even forget that it's here and last minute i've been able to collect a lot of this random stuff but as you guys can see i do have a lot of rainy day missions a lot of rainy day stuff so if I'm ever missing out on any crystals, just grind a little bit of extra content, do your gauntlets, uh, mission plan. If you guys, it's every single game has a mission plan. Um, I do pick up the battle lovers plan, which is the, uh, the more advanced one, which is, it's still not advanced. You just play the game, PVP, roll equipment and stuff like that. Um, it is the premium one. Obviously you have to pay, but it's like eight bucks, something like that. You get a very decent value, It's probably the best value in the game that you're going to get for your buck. But um, you don't actually need to pay for the normal side. You're getting like 500 Chrono Crystals. So just make sure to do your missions list. Um, finish your battle plan. Do your dailies. Um, TOP, PVP events, missions, check stories. Um, adventure, exchange shops. Check the, um, actually the, the guild. Guild should give you some rewards potentially. I know battle or the legends, the new legends ranking system gives you crystals every time this resets. Um, I believe this is about to reset in a four hours from now, and I'm going to actually get a total of 300 crystals, something like that, which is really solid. So I'm excited to get a little bit more crystals. I do want to summon on Kid Buu a bit more here, so I am looking forward to that. Um, I do have the assist bot. If you guys <laughs> want to get the assist bots very similar to the battle plan, and you're just going to get a bit more chrono crystals right there. Um, check your gift box. You never really know. Maybe they can give you some chrono crystals via the gift box but i'm gonna quickly show you guys another method soul boosting is another fantastic method unfortunately for me i have capped out on this method but for i know for a lot of you guys um you basically go to just any unit any random unit and just soul boost them completely right so go to one of these i probably yeah i've probably done majority of the units in the game because i've overdone this method but i've literally farmed the multis a very long time ago when the game is still fresh if you're new this is actually going to benefit you a ton i've farmed the multiple multis just doing this method going to many units that i didn't have completely soul boosted complete completely soul boost them and then you're going to uh, continue to farm these missions that give you tens and tens and tens and tens of chrono crystals that will eventually stack up into multis so if you guys um have a ton of units that you don't have soul boosted go collect some souls go to these um upgrade stations right here where you're getting these extra souls and go farm some some units go soul boost some units it's the same exact thing with equipment you can farm missions by just continuously rolling equipment soul boosting units and you guys are going to be banging out these missions that are located right here so a lot of them are going to be in the z missions area for all the events everything else is just stacked up here make sure to do that new oh i haven't done these like extra like i said spare crystals that i have just not collected yet not done yet make sure to check these you don't want to miss out on free stuff we do have some of these random special missions that are just lurking back here so uh i was saying it a bit early if you're doing the story the more you do the more you complete you're actually getting these extra crystals here so hundreds if you decide that you want to complete every challenge in the story mode you're going to benefit a ton because you're going to get an extra set of hundreds so these are up to like six seven hundred eight hundred ton of crystals here that i have not collected because i just haven't completed the entire story so extra missions here for you guys for those that are grinding the story getting all those spare crystals if you want to farm the infinite chrono crystal guide check that video out like i said you're getting a, a specific place where you can get the max amount of friendship points and the more units you uh level up to level five you're gonna get even more hundreds and hundreds of chrono crystals from this special uh tab right here 
Um, even more, you can go to, I guess, the some other missions. What is the other one that I have not completed? Eliminate the Earthlings. You go to this event right here. <laughs> you would think that I would have completed this, but uh, work on the Zenkais, the free-to-play Zenkais, the events, get them done, go grind these, this story, go to this event, um, and finish it up. I personally have not done it. So, um, yeah. And that's pretty much going to be everything in the game. You guys, like I said, co-op. The exchange shop gives you guys some crystals. Uh, PvP exchange shop gives crystals. Um, I believe we've gone over everything in the game currently. Not many new events, unfortunately. But um, we are looking forward to the anniversary in a month from now. So I'm trying to be patient with the game. We did stack up a little bit of Chrono Crystals in this video. I did start out with three. So that was kind of nice. Uh, but if you have any questions or if you think I missed anything or have any questions, uh, I have other guides. Drop a comment below. I'll probably answer, most likely. And I'll catch you guys in the very next one. Stay blessed. Stay frosty. I'm out.